My god, this is one of the craziest setups that I've ever been called out for. I kind of wish I were out there partying, but it's wild enough back here. It's quiet here, I mean, considering. Jeez, I just had to get away from that turmoil. Did you see some of those acts? They are so bizarre. Oh, God. So, what are you up to? I can take a break if I want. I mean, I do have a minute or two. Did you want to talk? <laughs> yeah, I guess everybody's part of the show tonight. It's kind of like Halloween that way. I don't know what your inside scoop is on that Vito guy and his friends, but from what I hear, they're the real entertainment tonight. <laughs> it's not your typical fashion show. Actually, speaking of which, I should really find out what I'm on next. I see. Well, bye and uh, good luck. Well, that's okay, I understand. Um, that's fine. I have to go and check up what my status is back there anyway, so... Uh, did you ever hear the joke about why they call us runway models? Well, we're not here. We take off, get high, and um, carry a lot of baggage. <laughs> I guess, at heart, we're just stewardesses. Bye. Oh, it's okay, I know how that feels. I mean, it happens to me, too. So come on, just sit down, relax. We'll talk. Great, grab a seat, relax a bit. Oh, what, did you feel like talking? Well, it's not exactly rocket science, but at least you have to remain relatively conscious. Well, anyway, bye. Well, the nice thing is that you don't have to believe in anything. It still happens to you. I mean, Unless maybe you believe that there is nothing else except for the material plane. Not all knowledge can come at once. You have to be searching and open for it. Maybe that's why you're talking to me. Anyway, all I know is that as much as I explore the areas of human thought, I continuously seem to be drawn back to the metaphysical literature. Don't you feel the same? I was reading this theory the other day about erotic attractors, and that maybe what we're searching through the flesh is our splintered soul fragments, and that these sexual messages that we send out, well, they work most effectively in showing our prospective mates that this is what we're really like inside, what our true souls are all about. But then maybe you're just the kind of person who believes in uh, survival breeding and pheromones. No, of course not. I didn't think so. I could feel your warmth and your aura is just sending tendrils and it's touching mine and it's so exciting. Well, in reality, one can't exist without the other. When the spirit enters the flesh, it becomes one. They're inseparable. I mean, whatever you call it, it could be energy, uh, life force, anything. It, it all adds up to the same thing. And, oh, oh, that's so sad. I mean, it's just, with the way this conversation is going, I can feel that we're just going to enter some conflict here, and I really don't want that to happen. That's really weird how you can misread people sometimes, though, because I could have sworn that, you know, you and I had some spirit work to do together. But, I mean, I really think you should consider the possibility of, of perceiving the world with seeing it with different eyes. And knowledge is embracing ideas, not rejecting them. Damn, oh, I gotta go. Jeez. I know. I'm feeling particularly mischievous today, and I think I'd rather take you and have a great time at the party. You want to go dancing? Yeah. Darn, that's my cue. Well, I gotta go. It's been pleasant. Thank you very much for the diversion. I enjoyed it. And I'll see you again. Bye. It's okay, I understand. Um, I have to get back to work anyway if I don't want to lose my job, so I guess I'll just um, see you again.
maybe we will meet again and maybe we already have past lives you never know so I guess I'll just see you around you take care bye great let's go before someone comes looking for me think so. Well, what have we here? You naughty little children. Oh, now don't go doing anything I don't wish I was doing with you. Ta. did to me, but I just had a transcendental experience, and it was... I... I definitely want to see you again. Yeah. I'd really like that. Oh, bye. That was... <laughs> wow. I really would like to see you again. Bye now. Um, hi there. Are you in the show? The strangest thing happened to me today. I had this dream that I was living on another planet, or maybe it was at the bottom of the ocean. Anyway, it was in the city which was covered by this huge, clear dome, and it felt so safe and nice and peaceful. Anyway, I get up, and I get ready to go out, and on my way out, I bump into my bookcase, and from one of the top shelves falls a book that I have from Buckminster Fuller. When it hits the ground, it opens up to a page with a picture in it, and it's a picture of a city and what it would look like if it were covered by a fuller dome. I thought that was really weird. Anyway, I take the bus to get here, a different route from what I'm used to, and we go past the Agri Dome. You know that big, the, the, the plastic greenhouse bubble? And then after that, on the same route, we go by the, this inflated tennis dome. And I get here, and every, everyone's wearing these little domes. And I'm thinking, this is all so strange. That's all really weird. Well, what do you think? I mean, do you believe in past lives and synchronicity? You know, that kind of stuff?
We really shouldn't be in here, you know that. Have a seat, relax. 